All right, family, so we stopped at one little spot here. It's called Marshall's Gold Discovery Park in Coloma, California. So we're gonna check this spot out, but there's a lot of buildings out here uh, from the gold rush era. Uh, so we're gonna check out some of these museums. There's a museum here we're gonna check out. This is the uh, Marshall Gold Discovery State Historic Park Museum. So we're gonna go in here and see what's up. So follow along, let's see what we discover. So just so you know, if you come here, it's $10 parking. There's your fees uh, for this park. So that you guys know, it's $10 per car, senior citizen nine. All right, so we're inside the museum. We got some nice displays here from the Gold Rush era. 1849, 1848. Got the Native Americans. It's a cool little museum. Got that raccoon chilling in the tree. Some more Native Americans here. They got the grindstone. So that stone's where they would grind up the acorns to make their meal. Little water display here. Salmon being speared from the creek. Let's see what they got on this side. We'll just take a quick little look through here. Some artifacts from the gold rush era. Looks like an old mirror. Okay. Not sure in a um, little pocket watch. Some gold nuggets. Check out the gold nuggets. Some bling. And then a, a, a balance here to weigh the nuggets. We've got the Gold Rush Merchantile, which is like a store. I don't know, we probably won't go inside there right now because we're just doing a quick little tour here. All right, let's keep it moving because we want to go see some of those structures also. So we're going to um, take a look in here and then we'll go outside and see some of the structures from the gold mine era. Again, this is where we are, Coloma. Uh, so again, you come up from Sacramento, up 50 east in Placerville, you turn left on 49 towards Coloma. And here's some uh, gold panning trays, baskets they use to pan for gold, and some quartz, which the gold is found in the quartz. So there's some uh, examples of quartz and some granite looks like there. Some more quartz here. Uh, and then slate, we have some slate and quartz mixed over here. And we got an old stagecoach here. Kind of like you see on the Wells Fargo commercials. So we got the stagecoach. Used to handle the uh, transportation of the gold. So this is what your gold miners would look like back in the day. This is how they looked. Scrappy little bunch. And then it's got a timeline of the gold rush up here. 1847, that's before the gold rush. 1848. That's when it was first discovered, and this is when the people started arriving, when the 49ers arrived uh, to start panning for gold. Uh, and then it kind of gives a little more history. So here's some of the gold mining tools. We got the shovel. We got the pickaxe. We got the gold uh, mining pan here. Got the rifle up top right here. The long gun, and then another one here, and then the old school deck for gambling with some dice because they were shooting craps back then too. All right, even got some bones over here, got the dominoes. So this here is uh, what's called a rocker box. They would take the sediment from the creeks and rivers and rock it back and forth here with some water over the top, and it would uh, and it would separate the large debris such as these big rocks here in a smaller sediment uh, and then eventually they could pan it out and get the gold uh, that's mixed in with the sediment here and they would collect the gold down here in the pan. All right, this is what Coloma looked like in 1857. It was actually a booming town. If you can see it there, a lot bigger than it is today. I don't know, maybe this seems pretty big though for 1857. Uh, yeah, and then this is what it looks like today. So a lot less houses, it looks like, more trees as compared to then. So it was booming back then. Let's see here, and there's this jail, the Coloma Jail, now in ruins. All right, 
So we're going to head out of here. I got to go put this ticket in the windshield of the car before I get sighted. And then uh, we'll go check, take a look at some of the, um, the buildings, the structures outside. All right, so we're going to walk over here and check out this barn. Looks like there's some uh, wagons inside. Looks like that's the jail over there. We'll go take a look at it later. Uh, but that's the jail over there that we saw inside the museum. All right, so there's a barn here. Some old school wagons. Straight up horse drawn wagons. Man, those are some big spokes. What are those, like 50 inch wheels? All right, this over here is a covered wagon. Take a look at that. All right, so there's also picnic areas here. Uh, we got benches. Looks like some fire pits. There may be a barbecue pits. It kind of looks like they may be barbecues. So you come up here, barbecue, picnic with your family. So that's cool. They got the benches here. Uh, so keep that in mind. If y'all want to come up and do a little picnic uh, and barbecue, they got the facilities for it. Uh, looks like they may even have some restrooms over there. So that's good. Convenient to the picnic area. Yeah, definitely barbecue pits. Take a quick look at them. But yeah, they're barbecue pits, see? Uh, so you could barbecue up here and picnic with your family. So that's cool. So let's just keep it moving through here. You can see some of the old structures here. Not sure what they were. But they have these nice little trails that you could walk. Everything's maintained well. You can see over there. Uh, hopefully you can see, but there's like a water cannon. They used to blast uh, rock and sediment out of the mountain with. Uh, my old structure here. Uh, I guess this was a saloon. So this is what the bars looked like back then. I'm not sure you could fit too many people in that bar though. But that's a saloon there. Looks like a little shack to me. So this is a California stamp mill. I guess they use these big machines to stamp out gold. Um, probably in the bars of gold. I know for transport, I guess. But this is where they would stamp them out. They'd pound the gold out right here. Check that out. Big machine. Made in Sutter Creek, which is not far from here. Uh, you could check it out there, but it's like a camshaft, essentially. Uh, where it's rotating and those lobes are lifting up and down these push rods. So it's kind of like a engine with a push rod engine. And over here we have a little mining cart, some tracks. So they would load the gold in there and move them down the tracks, probably over to be stamped out so they could ship it. And here's another one. This is a five, five head stamper, I guess is what they call it. So they could stamp out five of them at once, I'm assuming. But yeah, so if this is a five head, I'm, I'm assuming that's a two head. But again, there you can see the cam there and the lobes, uh, and then the push rods, which are moving up and down these pistons, somewhat like an engine. And it looks like a flywheel here to help it keep its momentum. Got the Chinese and the gold rush. So it tells the Chinese Chinese story of the gold rush. That's cool. Giving tri tribute to the Chinese. Alright, we got one of these hydraulic cannons here. Uh, I'll show you what they used to do with them. They used to blast away the side of the mountain uh, to uncover the, the gold. To break up the rock and sediment. Uh, to expose the gold veins So yeah, that's one of the cannons there water cannons, so we'll keep moving through here looks like a drill here They used under the earth to go ahead and drill and put their dynamite uh, So they drill stick dynamite in there blow it up and then uh, chunks of rock will come down 
and then they would haul out the rock in these carts so this is like going into a mine this is what it would feel like got kind of a display here of what a mine would look like <laughs> Some old exposed knob and tube wiring. Check out that. I'm sure that'd be up to code nowadays with this uh, old knob and tube wiring. And then you got these uh, post and beam construction. All right. And then it leads us right back here to the office. I guess this would be a, what an office would look like back then. All right, so enough here. We're gonna keep it moving. Uh, and here's a better map of the area we're in. So again, we came up from Sacramento. Well, we came up from the Bay Area through Sacramento. We stayed the night in Folsom. Drove up to Placerville this morning and then over to Coloma on 49. And then from here, we'll go over to Grass Valley. So, all right, let's keep it moving through here. So these are the Chinese stores. Let's see what it looked like inside here. All right, so this is what the Chinese store would look like. Right there. Got an old stove. Some pots and bottles. Looks like they had a little table there so that they could uh, eat their dinner on. We got the, the dinner hanging there from the hooks as they're prepping it to be cooked. It looks like we got pig, we got some chicken, and some fish. That's supposed to be fish right there. But, so this is a Chinese store. All right, let's keep it moving. Off to the next spot. All right, so we just checked out the Chinese store over here. We checked out the uh, little example of what a mine would look like inside. So now uh, we're gonna check out a few more buildings. This is the Coloma Grays. This building was an armory. So where they kept their weaponry, I would assume, armory. So let's see, I don't see any weapons, so I may be wrong, but needless to say, there's a Studebaker, probably one of the oldest Studebakers you've ever seen. All right, some more little structures here. This is the Coloma post office. So that's what their post office looked like. So this is going to be the last structure we look at today. We're going to look at the jailhouse. Here is some kind of holding cell. It's just some crazy medieval looking box uh, made of steel, rivets, nuts and bolts. Got these uh, hinges here so this door opens up and a funky old style lock. Uh, so let's take a look at the jail itself now. That's over here. It's very dilapidated. So this was the El Dorado County Jail at the time. Let's take a quick look. This is what the uh, windows would look like for the jail. So you could see it's all just rocks they found locally here in the area. They use moiter to, to connect all the rocks together and to build a wall. Definitely an old structure with some historic value. Let's take a quick look inside of the cell. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but that's what the cell looks like inside. They probably don't want us in here too much because uh, who knows what the integrity of the structure is. Uh, so yeah, that roof may come down any year. Who knows? That's what the view of the uh, prisoner would have from inside the cell. Chief. 